Well, for decades, developers have been looking at Bamberton as a community in the making, but not everyone has the same plan for the area, the old cement plant south of Mill Bay. Some want homes and restaurants, others want it returned to heavy industry. And the various demands have sent developers back to the drawing board more than once. Now there's a plan in the works to go before a hearing tonight that some believe will be the start of something great. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. On a rainy service road, developer Ross Tennant leads the way on a tour of Bamberton. What I'll do, Kurt, before going to the waterfront site is I'm just going to turn, make a left-hand turn at the bottom of the road here. He's showing CTV News parts of the roughly 600 hectares that has been a steady target of industrial, commercial and residential development on the island. So as you were coming south down the highway, you would have turned off the uh, Bamberton exit here. Tenant's team has a new plan for the land. It's a proposal that calls for heavy rezoning. It would turn 24 hectares of general industrial zone land into roughly 133 hectares of light industrial, opening the door for a wider spectrum of businesses. In this area here, you'd have architects' offices and yoga studios. In this area over here, you'd have your uh, cabinet maker shop, you'd have your uh, stonemason, your garden utility. It means more jobs and answers the call laid out by the Cowichan Valley Regional District. In the last 20 years, plans for residential development at Bamberton have been scaled back drastically. A year ago, developers pitched a proposal that included 3,200 homes, but the district said no. They said the area didn't need homes, but rather places to work, so the plan changed again. It's been a bit of a, a moving target to try and figure out what would be the right thing to do on this land. Um, we thought uh, a master planned community was the right approach. Um, that's not the option that we've been given. So developers are taking what they call baby steps, but even talk of the scaled down proposal has made its way north. There will be more options for people, so it might take away from some of the business. But she admits it could also lead to an increase in traffic. Good for business, potentially deadly elsewhere. But developers don't see it that way. By concentrating or creating a development node there, you're probably going to reduce some of the traffic that would be going over the Malahat into Victoria and up into Duncan. Kim Rowe lives in the Mill Bay area and drives to Victoria daily. She disagrees. I don't see that happening because, first of all, you have to have businesses here where people are working, and that's what we're lacking in this community. But her argument is exactly what the developers are proposing, a rezoning change that would allow for business and jobs, and after that, years down the road, maybe homes. For now, though, the revised proposal will head to public hearing, the next step in creating a new Bamberton and a new town on Vancouver Island. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Bamberton.